All right, so you Googled how to be more confident in your body. I'm here to help you, so keep watching. In this video, I'm gonna help you understand why you don't feel confident in your body. Then we'll cover what body confidence is and what it isn't. Finally, I'll share three ways you can start feeling more confident in your body. The way my YouTube channel works is I do videos on the most Google topics that have to do with my area of expertise. So I'm not even surprised that this was one of the most Google topics, how to be more confident in my body. And when I saw this come up in my notes that we were doing a video on it, I was like, heck yeah, because man, I got a lot to say about this. I have boatloads of confidence. I do. I'm a very confident person. Come on, look at this mohawk. You can't just run around with hair like this unless you're sure of yourself. So I've got enough confidence to go around, but a lot of people I meet and a lot of people I know, they just don't, they have low self-confidence. So I'm really glad we're talking about this on this video. If you don't feel confident in your own body, the reason may not be what you think. Yes, it is true that every day of our lives we're bombarded with images of people who are photoshopped and airbrushed. And no, I don't like the photoshop and the airbrush images that are misrepresented as reality. They're not. I like to say that model doesn't even look like that. But unrealistic images are only part of the problem. The other part of the problem is that you are comparing how you look to those images and probably even to images and people who aren't altered. If you want to make yourself miserable and feel less than in every area of your life, comparison will do it every time. So even knowing that comparison makes us miserable, well, why do we do it? Part of it is just our wiring. Human beings are all wired for survival. Part of survival is the belief that we need to compete for resources like food and supplies and even a partner because we worry that there's not enough for us. Without realizing what we're doing, we're tapping into that competitive survival wiring. When we feel someone else has an advantage over us, well, we feel less than. Feeling less than often translates to a lack of confidence, including how we feel about our own bodies. Before I go to my next point, talking about how to be more confident in your body, I wanna hear from you. This is your bravery test, as Bob Ross would say. This is your bravery test. How brave are you feeling? I would love for you to comment below and kind of give me some insight into your heart and how you're feeling about your body confidence. Do you have body confident issues? Are you always kind of covering up or feeling self-conscious or you want to, you know, get undressed in the dark because you don't want your partner to see you? These are very common. So comment below. I want to hear how you're feeling. Before I talk about how to be more confident in your body, I want to cover what body confidence is and what it isn't. Body confidence is about loving your body regardless of what society says about it. I do agree with that. I do not agree that body confidence means telling yourself you're happy with your body when you're really not. If you haven't been taking care of your body and it's hurting and carrying more weight than you want, pretending that you're happy about that does not help you to be confident. It will actually make you less confident because you're lying to yourself and part of you knows it. Now that we've covered what body confidence is and what it isn't, let's dive into three ways you can start being more confident in your body. The first thing you can do to feel more confident in your body is to stop comparing it to other people's bodies. Instead of comparing your body to everyone else's, try thanking your body. A lot of people see their body as some enemy that they have to overcome, but your body is not your enemy. It's doing the best it can with what you've given it. Stop shaming your body and start appreciating your body. The second thing you can do to feel more confident in your body is to remember that true confidence isn't about your looks. Confidence is a feeling, it's an energy. I've seen confidence in people whose society would label unattractive, but their confidence made them so attractive. I took a pole dancing class back when I lived in New York City and some of the girls in that class were bigger girls, but they oozed confidence because their confidence wasn't tied to how they looked. It was an energy. They felt confident and everyone in the room could feel it. I remember standing there in that class when the girls were doing that demo for us before we started the lesson. 
And I just was mesmerized by these ladies. Their, their, their confidence, their, their joy. It, 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 you could feel it even from across the room. It was absolutely incredible. And I was so drawn to these ladies. I didn't look at their cellulite or their fat rolls or I didn't look at their size. I didn't look at what, you know, it, it bruises or scars or scrapes or what society would deem as unattractive, which I do not think that they are, but we know what society says. I didn't look at any of that. And bl believe me, the girls had plenty of, uh, of those imperfections on them. I didn't even see it. All I saw was just their confidence and their sex appeal and how much joy they had by doing what they loved. And I was instantly attracted. I was drawn to that. And I wanted to be just like that. I've also met people I thought were very attractive, but they didn't feel confident about their body. Confidence is not a look. It's a feeling. It's you being comfortable being you. See, I used to train celebrities and models in New York city from 2005 to 2009. And I trained some of the most gorgeous people on the face of this planet. Some of the most highly sought after models that were from the biggest agencies and they would come into the gym and their face would be down and they would just be drawn in and they would be slumped over and they wouldn't look at you in the eye and they wouldn't pick up their feet when they walked and they were just so downcast. It didn't appear that they had any confidence and they oozed negativity and almost a self-loathing. I remember thinking, how could you, how could you be like this? If I looked like you, I'd be like, just running down the street, like, look at me, you know? And they didn't feel that way about themselves. They had no self confidence. What you saw on the runway was all fake. It was just a part of their job. They didn't truly feel that way about themselves. And I'm, and I trained a lot of models and every single one I trained was just like that, except one model, one model was different, but all of them that I trained for years battled with self confidence issues, even though they were absolutely gorgeous. That also happened when I trained celebrities, I would train some of the biggest names in the business, A-list celebrities. They didn't have a lot of confidence. They would come in and they would be so unsure of themselves and they'd be apologizing and they would be just so, um, like mad at themselves or making a mistake. I'd have them do one move and I would show them the move and they couldn't get it. And they would be so mad at themselves. And I'd say, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. And they would hide their bodies and they would cover up and they'd wear big baggy clothes. And I'm thinking, I know this person's got a great body. I don't know why they're covering it up. It's amazing. Who has low self-confidence that you think when you look at them, you think that they just have all the confidence in the world and they just don't. The third thing you can do to feel confident in your body is well, take good care of it. One huge cause of body confidence issues is that part of you knows you aren't taking good care of yourself. It's hard to live day in and day out. The good news is you don't have to live that way for even one more second. You can decide starting today to give yourself the real food, water, and sleep that it needs to thrive. Look, when you feel good because you know you're taking good care of yourself, Confidence is a natural byproduct. You almost can't stop yourself from feeling confident. In my first book, The Code Red Revolution, you'll read a story about Cassie Adams and Cassie lost 75 pounds in four months on the Code Red lifestyle. And she did not tell her husband, Tim, that she was starting the Code Red lifestyle. She didn't tell him at first. You know how he found out? It wasn't because he noticed that she was losing weight. It was because he noticed that she was becoming more confident. That's what made him stop and go, what's going on with you? She had a spring in her step. She had a smile on her face when she had gone so long without one. And that's when he noticed that's what made him stop and go, all right, what is up here? And she said, I'm losing weight. So it wasn't the weight loss. He noticed, he noticed the increased confidence. If you're not sure how to start taking better care of your body, then here's how I can help you. I created a nutrition program called the code red lifestyle. You can lose all the weight you want without shakes, pills, diet foods, or even exercise. That's right. I said no exercise required. Hey, look, exercise is great for like a million other reasons and it's good for your body. Yes, but exercise is not a way to address your weight problem. On my nutrition program, you can eat real food, drink water and sleep and follow just a few simple rules to help your body feel better and drop the extra weight. If that's something you want to do for yourself, you can get started by joining the code red lifestyle private network. You'll get access to food ideas, support programs, tips, tricks, 
that'll all teach you how to lose weight safely and sustainably. Create your free Code Red Network account at coderedlifestyle.com forward slash APP. And you can also download the mobile version of Code Red in the App Store or Google Play Store. So create your free account now, and I'll see you on the next video. Finally, I'll share three ways you can start feeling better. No, nope. The way my, let me just, I'm probably gonna talk about this in the video, so let me just, well then we're, we're, why did I start that tangent? We tap into that competitive survival wiring. Oof, do that again, do it again. Now, well, now that we've covered, okay. I've seen confidence in people whose society would label, that was right, how in the world could you be like this? If I looked like you, I would just be like, I, oops, shoot, hold on.